I'm here in front of the famous Milwaukee Mile, and we've come back to Wisconsin State Fair Park, where the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel Sports Show opens on March 7th for a five-day run. In just a few minutes, we'll get an overview of the sports show from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Dave Jones. Then we'll take a look at Brian Mookie's Old Duck Hunters exhibit at the sports show. Summer to fall, winter to spring, from Green Bay to where the same Croy sings, from Catamaran to Superior Shore, Outdoor Wisconsin, Outdoor Wisconsin. One of the features I really enjoyed here at the sports show was the old time duck hunters exhibit where Brian Mookie highlights the golden years of duck hunting on the Horicon Marsh. Welcome to the old duck hunters exhibit. What we've done here is tried to create an experience for the visitors, taking them back in time, giving them a little local lore and some history of duck hunting. We have an old uh, wood skiff here from the 1930s. Actually, we've got an interesting story behind that. It was involved in a prison break from the 1940s. It was she owned by a gentleman from Wapan. And we also have some original oil paintings. We have some wonderful paintings depicting Curly Radke, an early local conservationist who led the charge to restore the Horicon Marsh. Paintings and articles about him. One of my favorite paintings, which is a painting of John Muir and Aldo Leopold on the Horicon Marsh. Two icons in conservation that also have strong ties to Wisconsin. We also have some uh, Sports Illustrated issues with covers of sportsmen from the 1950s. One of my favorites in particular is from October of 19, 1956, which has a duck hunter up to his elbows in the water on the Chesapeake Bay, the fourth week of football season. Along with a number of wonderful articles from the 1800s on Horicon Marsh and the hunt clubs around the area. There were state senators of Wisconsin, even governors that were members of these hunt clubs in Horicon. People would travel from Chicago and even the East Coast to hunt the Horicon Marsh. It was some of the best duck hunting in the West, some of the best duck hunting in the U.S. And we also have an uh, article from the 1800s on the probably the biggest fish tale of Wisconsin called the Kikoski Fish Story from the late 1800s. I first heard about that story sitting on my grandfather's lap about 40 years ago and he almost told it word for word from the article in the 1800s, so it must be true. This boat right here is a 1944 Thompson wood duck boat. It's actually made in Peshtigo, Wisconsin. It's a cedar strip uh, duck boat. It was one of the first duck boats that was actually made for an outboard motor. Before this, all of the duck boats were what they called double-ender skiffs. But this was actually set up for uh, an outboard motor. We've got an old Johnson, 1952 Johnson Seahorse motor on it. And I still take it out a couple of times each year uh, in the fall duck hunting. And uh, excellent duck boat to hide in the cattails and spend a day in the marsh. For me, one of the joys of this exhibit is sitting back at the back of the booth, watching visitors come in, some of them in their 60s, 70s, 80s. I see them come in and almost stop in their tracks. Some of them get a little twinkle in their eyes, some of them a little uh, tear wells up and they start looking and they eventually make their way back and all of a sudden the stories come. I said, my dad used to take me out fishing in an old outboard motor, much like that Johnson, or my grandfather, he used to take me duck hunting in, the, in that old skiff and from one story turns into another story and I'm standing toe to toe with them and a whole book of memories and stories comes flowing out. So for me, it's, uh, it's really uh, an enjoyment sharing these old duck hunting pieces of equipment and gear because it really brings back memories for a lot of our visitors. I'll be here at State Fair Park for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel Sports Show, March 7th through 11th. So if you're here, stop by and say hello. You can learn more about the sports show and this week's other features on the Outdoor Wisconsin Facebook page or online at milwaukeepbs.org. Just click on Outdoor Wisconsin.